Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just woke up and I'm actually going to turn this channel into like a blog channel. And I might blog every day, I might blog every second day. I don't know yet of what I'm going to do. But I didn't feel, I was, I was actually going to start my blog channel yesterday. But there's something that happened the day before and I didn't really feel like doing anything yesterday. All I wanted to do was just sit at home and just lay in bed. And that's exactly what I did. I didn't really eat because of this. So before we get started on today's video, if you haven't already, please hit the post notification bell button so you get notified whenever I post. And hit the subscribe button. So I'm not going to be used to the camera. I might be a bit shy today because I never actually took my phone out and filmed at all, ever. So, yeah. And if you want to know what happened, me and my fiancé, we broke up. As you see, I don't have the ring on my finger anymore. That's now in the ocean. I didn't really want it to end like that, but it did. And I'm not going to go into further detail with it because the video will end up getting too long. So, there's that. I'm still trying to recover from it. It was, it was a three-year relationship. I've known him since... For four years. I've known him for four years. And it's a three-year relationship. So, having a three-year relationship... That is going to take me some time to recover, but I will bounce back pretty quickly. So don't worry about that. So I'm going to go and have a shower. I don't normally have a shower of a morning, like at all. I don't have a shower of a morning at all. I also got a doctor's appointment. I've got to go, go to it at 10.45. I might catch a taxi there. I don't know. But I have a doctor's appointment at 10. And I'm thinking of getting my nails done. Because I haven't got them done. Because I actually need like a girl's. Like a me time to myself. To do whatever I want to do. And that. So I might go get my nails done. And if the cinemas are open. I might go watch a movie. But with this coronavirus going around. There's not many everything was shut but now it's June and they said time on the 1st of June which was yesterday I think it was yesterday they said everything's going to slowly start reopening back up so we're in June so yeah so there'll be no more videos at all speaking about my ex fiance I don't want to talk about my ex fiance I love him, I still do, because I'd literally just broken up with him three days ago. So I still love him, but it's going to take me some time to get over him. And from doing that, I think, I don't, I, I think, cancelling, think not talking to him, not seeing him, not doing anything with him. We could become friends in the future. I don't know. I don't mind being friends with him in the future. He was a good friend. I cannot... I, I can't... Say he wasn't a good friend. He was a really, really good friend. Probably wasn't a good... Boyfriend or fiancé. Not so I'm saying he hates against him. And don't go texting Kyle or whatnot. Because I don't want that happening. I don't want people sending hates to him. At all. So. Enough did you dallin about that. I'm going to go have a shower. I don't normally have a shower. In the morning. But today I feel like. I feel dirty. So I'm going to go have a shower. I'm going to borrow my mother's makeup. Because all my stuff is at his place. Which I will slowly start to get that back. So I'm going to go have a shower. Put some of my mum's makeup on. And I'll be back. Once I'm ready. To go to the doctors. Because I'm going to the doctors first. Because it's already like. I don't know. Let me get my other phone. And tell you what the time is. It's 
It's already 8 o'clock. So, there's that. It's already 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to go have a shower, get ready to go to the doctor. Bye. So, guys, I just hopped out of the shower. As you see, my hair's wet. I'm actually going to let mum's dog in for a little while. Teddy! Ted! Come in, Bubba! So that's him right there, the back dog, Stella. So come on, Bubba, you're cold. Come on. Oh, shit, sorry. So this is Teddy. He is my mum's dog. So... Yeah, and Stella's the other one. So I've just let them inside for a little bit. Stella can stay out. So, yeah, I'm going to go and blow dry my hair. Then I'm going to put my makeup on. And I'm going to book a cab. So, yeah, and if you want to see my outfit of the day, just give me a second. So that's the outfit of the day. I've got just track pants on with a t-shirt. And I'm going to be wearing this jacket. And you will see it there, the outfit in just a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to go do my hair. I'm going to do my makeup. And I'm going to book a cab and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back here guys and here is the final outfit of the day. So I've just got nice white shoes, um, just track pants, t-shirt and a jacket. And this is my makeup look. There's the dog. I've just finished making my bed. So it's not normally this messy I've made. I just tried my best because the taxi is on its way because I can't like I'm running out of time because I got the doctor's appointment at night at 10.40 something and um, it's already 9 o'clock so time when I get to the Morrowville Health Clinic will be over 9 so I'm going to let the dog out and I'll see you once I get to the doctor's okay so I'm back and I just copped out of the doctors, so I'm just gonna go down and catch the bus to um, Redcliffe. And actually, no, I'm not gonna catch the bus to Redcliffe, I'm gonna catch it, the bus to Burpengary so I can go get my nails done. So, yeah. And also, I changed my YouTube channel's name to Familiar Heart. So it's not the Gillets anymore. It's Familiar Heart. So if you want to come a heart, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button. So I'll be back when I am in Burpengary. So I'm back and I'm just about to go get my nails done. So I'm going to get my nails done and I'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm back and I'm not going to get my nails done just yet because I've got to go and do something. But I'll go to Morrowfield and get them done. Where am I going? But I just brought myself a coffee, so I'll be back when I'm at Morrowfield. Okay, so I'm back and I'm still in Burpacary. I changed my mind. So I finally got my nails done. These are what they look like. And I also got my toenails done as well. And I will insert a picture right here. So I'm at the bus stop going to Burpengary and yeah, so they look gave me like a full massage and that so and I got the picture 
So I'll show you again what they look like so you've got a better idea. So I got a picture of my heart just for my channel because I changed the channel to Familiar Heart. Sorry, I don't know what happened there, but I changed my channel to Familiar Heart. So I got bunches of hearts with diamonds and whatnot. So now what I'm going to do is go back to Moorfield and I'm going to go to the shop called Silly Souls so I can get some makeup supplies, hairbrushes and that because I don't have any of my stuff here and I might get like a phone charger or whatnot. So yeah, I might go get some lunch. See what to do with lunch and that. So if you, I, I want to mention if you're not a heart yet, please subscribe and you'll be automatically entered into the familiar hearts and you'll become a heart. So there's that. So, yeah. Uh, the only reason why I was thinking about going to Morrowfield to get these nails done because I needed to go back home because my grandfather was going to take me down to my ex's place so I can get my stuff. But because I was already on the bus heading to Burpengary, it was too far for him to come and pick me up. So, we're going to save it for another time. So, and I didn't know what, the bu what time the bus is coming, so I decided to get them done here, which was great. I got a full massage and whatnot. And if you're wondering, if you, with the bandage, I got the rod taken out, so there's that. If you're wondering why that's there. So, I think I'm going to go and I'll come back when I get to Moorfield off the bus. So, I'll see you when I get to Moorfield. Ciao. Oh my god, this won't stop. So I just got off the bus and I'm heading to Silly Souls. I got off at the bus stop a little bit too early, but that's okay. So I'll be back when I'm in the shop. So I'm back in the shop to get makeup. Not sure what to go for. Um, I might get that. Yeah. I mean, I might get. Not blush. Foundation. Hmm. Oh, that was a soap there. And then a mascara. Oh, by the way, this shop is a cheapy shop. Nothing over five bucks. What's that? No. Um. Any foundation or concealer? That's mascara. That's lip gloss. These are foundations, but I'm not sure if they're my shade. Too dark for my skin. Ooh, that's a 
nice nude. I might get that one instead of the lip gloss. Actually, I'll get the lip gloss. What's that? Ooh, eyeshadow. Really, really pretty eyeshadow. No. Might go to Woolworths for foundation. Cause I need to go there anyway to get a drink. If I'm going to go get lunch at Subway. So what's over here? I wonder. I'm putting the phone to the ground because I don't want anyone being on camera. And, uh, those are um, deodorants. Don't think need them. Um, I don't really want to go to Woolworths to get foundation because that's kind of expensive. Might just get like a powder. Loads of full of pads and that. I've already got them. like a hair mask hair gel I think yeah gel um hmm go to the next aisle and find out what's there oh, nothing but clean supplies Like a bit lighter, but not my skin. They're all dark. Um, I might get like a powder instead. Here, I'll get powders instead. And I might get... Those are a bit lighter. All I need is a phone charger, so I'm about to grab that and I'll be back when I'm at Woolworths. So I'm back and I know I said I was going to be back when I get to Woolworths, but I wanted to talk now, so I'm heading to Woolworths. They didn't really have what I needed at um, Silly Souls, but it's okay. I'm actually looking at the went in front of me because I'm actually walking and I don't want to trip over because I looked in. I looked at my phone when I was at Bourbon Gary and then he ran into a pole and I don't really want that happening again. So I'm walking to Woolworths. It's not that far, it's literally just across the road. So yeah. 
Ooh, how am I gonna get down here? So I just got powders and that because I didn't have what I was after. Which is okay, powders and that are good because I'll get my stuff back eventually. It'll just take a bit of time, that's all. So, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go to Woolworths and I'll see you there. So I'm in Woolworths. Oh, and I've got um, foundation here, but it's over 20 bucks. I don't really want to get that. So, I'm here in Woolworths because I wanted to get like a, my favourite flavoured milk, which is which is a salted caramel. I need a new water bottle. It's like three bucks. Get this one. I'm a bit shy because I don't normally like walking around with my phone, but talking, but it's okay. I've got my favourite chocolate milk and now I'm going to a check out. So I'm trying to find the shortest line check out. So I'm going to go and I'll be back when I'm at Subway. So I'm back and I'm just finished with Subway and give me a second while my son is on. So I got a chicken teriyaki ham and bacon sub and now I'm at the bus stop. So I think I'm going to go home for the day. I'm not too sure. I think I'm just gonna go home. I had a really lovely day. I needed this actually, to be honest. I needed just time out. Like after what happened, uh, the other day, Monday, I needed time out and I got that. So I'm feeling quite good and happy. I got a full manicure done. I got Subway. I got makeup and that. So. I'm good. I'm still hurt, I'm still really, really hurt, but you'll expect that after breaking up with someone that you've been with for three years, but so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on myself. Me comes first. I'm going to say it to that, like I love Kyle and I wish we didn't have to end it like we did and I hope we can become friends one day. But at the moment, I think I just need like a really, really big break from him after what he's done to me and my family. Like, I know it's not all just him, but I know it's me as well. But after what he's done, he's really crushed me. Like, I know it's not just him, it's me as well. So I'm just as guilty as what he is. It's 
slowly starting to recover. It will take me some time, but I'm slowly starting to recover. Like, I actually think he actually wants me back because I got a text from him earlier today saying, can we date in secret? And I'm like, I was like, what? He's got, look, he, he should put me first. I want to get treated like a queen by him. Because I do everything for him. I put him first. I even put him before my family and friends, which might seem a bit hurtful. And that, but it's true. It's true. I love him with all my heart. This is hurting me as much as it's hurting him. A second heartbreak. What more can go wrong? But I'm about to get my own apartment and that. Hopefully that will be up and going. And if he ever wants me back, he's got to prove to me that he's willing to do whatever for me and treat me like a person, not a dog. Like treat me as a girlfriend or a fiance, whatever we get to be. And I want him to prove himself really, really, really big to mum and dad because they have really cried. I don't even know if I will get back with him, to be honest. But I'm really, really hurt. So I needed today. I needed just a break and I got that. Like, the biggest thing that really hurt me with him is the fact that he lied to me big time. He kept a really big secret from me. And he put my, he nearly put my mother's job at jeopardy because of all this. So I'm quite glad that I decided to go out today and do that once I get home. Cause I got a text from his mum saying that my stuff is out the front which I don't really like the idea of that because anyone can come past and pick it up. It could, get, it, could, it could get stolen. So I'm not really pleased about that, but I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to try to cause any fights. And I'll give her... Key, I've got her key. And I'll give the key back once i got all of my stuff. Like, all of it. I keep on looking back because I want to see if the bus is coming or not. So... Yeah, no hate or anything like that, but I want all of my stuff, not just bits of it, all of it back. Like, that family's lied to me. It's her. I don't like the lies because what happened to my other relationship. But I'm going to turn this channel into a blog channel, and I'm going to try and blog every day. If I've got something to blog, I will blog it. I was a bit shy today, bringing my phone out and talking. But I will get used to it. Because, like, I haven't done this. That's why I'm so shy. But I will get used to it. So don't worry. So I think I'm just going to go home. That's what I think I'm doing. I think I'm just going to go home. I've got no supports tomorrow. So I've got, I don't know if I am will film tomorrow. I might film my daily life at home. But apart from that, I've got nothing else to film. Unless I decide to go out. So, yeah, I won't end the channel here. I'll end it tonight sometime. But I won't end it now. I'll end it tonight sometime. So, yeah. Like, if he really loves me, like he says he does, then prove it. Don't treat me like this. Don't call me names. Don't call my family names. Don't pin me for everything or my family. That's why I'm so hurt and upset about it. And let me have a bit, like, I love him, but I also want my freedom back. Like, when I was with him, I think he kept my freedom from me. Like, he tells me not to take my driving test because he's afraid of the road. And I've been wanting my license ever since I've been third, ever since I turned 13. And I think he's stopping me from being friends with certain people. Like, including boys. Like, let me be friends with whoever I want. And, including boys. Like, let me, be, let me have some boyfriends and girlfriends and that. 
don't just be all girls. Because, like, even though I've got boyfriends and that, doesn't mean I'm going to love them. Like, I've got you. I want a man. I want someone who's going to treat me like a queen. And I hope he understands that. Because I treated him like a king. I just don't want to get hurt again. That's all I'm saying. I just don't want to get crushed and hurt and lied to and have secrets getting kept from me because this is what Satan fights, is these secrets. That's why I threw that engagement ring in the ocean because I didn't mean to do it. It was anger and upset. Yes, my mum taught me to do it, but it was just anger and upset. So I'm kind of glad I had this time out. And I'm just going to go home. I'll catch a bus to the shopping centre. And then I'll catch another bus home. And then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at home. So I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at home. So yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm back. And I'm back in my bedroom, as you can see. I got my mother's dog in here because he wanted to come in. So I let him come in. And I'm the only one home, but my sister's also here because my mum and my grandmother was here, but they've gone to go to my ex's place because his mother sent me a text saying, all your stuff is out the front. So I'm not really pleased that it's out the front because anyone, anyone could come past and just collect it. So, yeah, I'm actually going to take you off of camera so I can show you my toes because I didn't show you them earlier because I was out. And I'll show you what I got today from the shop when I unpacked my bag. So, yeah. I'm going to show you my feet now. So, I'm back and these are what my toenails look like. They're like a dark blue color and my nails are like a nice um, teal color. I didn't want to choose the same nails for, I didn't want to choose the same color for both feet and, to and fingers. And hands, so I think that looks good like that. I quite like it. This is actually my first manicure ever, so that's quite a surprise. And Mum's dog's right there, so yeah. So I'm going to pause the camera, and I'm going to show you my face again. Okay, so I'm back, and there's one thing I actually forgot to buy while I was out. And that was a hairbrush, but so I can put my phone down to talk to you guys. I'm going to set up a little box thing so I can lean my camera against it because my tripod's at my ex's place. So I got that there so I can show you guys what I have brought. Um, so I can show you guys what I have brought with me today. Hey, come here, Baba. Come on. So I can show you guys what I've brought. So I actually got a bottle of water. It's empty because I tipped this bottle of water into my new drink bottle, which I quite like it, by the way. So I actually quite like this water bottle. I know I got water bottles at my ex's place, but I didn't know when I was going to get it back. And I should be drinking more water than anything else. And I don't want to keep on buying water either. So I got that. I got my lunch, which will be my tea. I also got my favourite flavoured milk, which is salted caramel. If you haven't tried it yet, you should actually try it. It's quite yummy, actually. So, there's a receipt. I keep receipts because I actually have to be writing everything that I get down. So, that's it in that bag. 
and I am opening my front pouch but I didn't really get anything. I actually need to take my wallet out because my credit card and my go card is in my pocket. I need to put it back in there. I need to take my portable charger and my phone charger back out. So... I'm going to open up the big pouch and show you what I've got in there. So I got a charging block, receipt. I got lip gloss. It's like a pink color, a really, really pretty pink. Really like that. Got two packets of these pads. Because it could come any day now since the rod's out of my arm, so yeah. So I've got tampons. And another receipt. Got mascara. And I got a powder thing because I couldn't find foundation. And I got two of them. Is that everything? that I got so far yes yeah, so I think that's everything that I've brought today which might look like a lot but really in reality it's not so I'm trying to actually <laughs> zip my bag back up So that's all I got, and I'm not going to show you what I got in my pocket because it's kind of personal. My credit card and that, it's really, really personal. <laughs> so I want to put that back in my wallet so I don't end up losing it. So yeah, that's all I've got, and I'm actually going to go and look at some of the bedroom door and see the cat's inside, because I can hear her, and she shouldn't really be inside, which she is, so she can get out. Hi, Papa. Adorable cat she is. I love her. So, yeah. That is every thing, and I've got pads and tampons and that because my period, my period can come in any second now because I haven't gotten my period for like it's been five, nearly six years since I last had my last period, which is quite a long time. Only because I had a rod in my arm, and then I put another rod in my arm, and I've just taken it out. So. Yeah, I think I might go and pack all of this stuff up and finish drinking my drink that I got from Subway. Put my flavoured milk in the fridge. I might go have a shower and whatnot because it's now the end of the day. I know I had one this morning, but I want to get back into my normal routine because I had a shower this morning because I felt like shit, not going to lie. And I'll try to eliminate swearing at any toast. So, yeah, I'll give you guys updates of what happens with my stuff that apparently is out the front of my, my ex's house. So I will give you an update on that. So, yeah, I'm save my subway because I'm not really that hungry, to be honest. I know I haven't eaten in like two days because of all this stress and that, but this is not hungry. I will try and eat though, so yeah, so I did like a little, not, not sure if you saw them properly at the shopping center, now I'm showing you again. So I did like little ha black hearts without, with like little gems on my ring finger. Just because I changed my YouTube channel's name to Familiar Hearts. 
and so I just wanted to do this for my YouTube video and that. So I'm actually going to turn this into like a blog channel, which is what I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but I haven't really got a chance to because I've been always so shy and I was afraid that my ex would stop me when I was with him, but now I'm not with him. I'm basically free to do whatever I want now. And that's what I wanted to do when I was with him. I wanted, to, Yes, I was with him, but in the same breath, I still wanted my freedom. If that made sense. This little bit of hair is annoying me. Hang on a minute. So, yeah, like, I haven't done anything to Melita or her husband or her son. I haven't done anything to them. And they treat me like this. Well, it's not okay. Like, if I don't get all my stuff back by the weekend, I think we can take it to the police about it because it, it is my stuff and I'm paid for that stuff out of my money and it was give, given it was either paid my money or given to by my friends and family so that's technically called stealing if they don't give it back and my grandmother wants me to keep the key until I do get it back to make sure I actually have it all back instead of bits of it so yeah I'm actually going to pause this video now here so I can actually pack my stuff up so I can have my bed back and just clean this room up a little bit and I'll be back I'll give you updates what happens and I'll be back shortly not sure when but shortly so I'm back and I'm actually going to close off this video because it's like just past six o'clock and I'm not really doing anything at the moment and also an update about my stuff um so Kyle's mum has phoned my stuff out on the street on her driveway and it's not all of it, it was only parts of it and she said in a text message that I'm going to throw all your stuff out or whatnot. I don't know what happened because my mum had my phone at the time so yeah I don't know what's been said but apparently that I don't know what I'm going to do. Get the cops involved or what. But I will give you updates in that. Until I get my stuff back of how it actually goes. Like I don't want to bring it that far. I don't want to bring it that far. But if I have to, I will. So, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Like, I really loved Kyle. And I, I still do because i literally just broken up with him. So it would take me a bit to get over him. And I thought he was the guy for me. But the way he's treating me at the moment, he's obviously not the right person. And so, yeah, I want someone that's going to treat me like a queen. No more than that. I don't want to get treated like a dog anymore. Or a piece of shit. But I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I thought he was the guy. I thought he was the right guy for me, but obviously not the right guy. But I'm going to end this video here now. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, and also please hit the post notification bell button so you get notified whenever I post. And if you're not a heart yet, please subscribe. And if you automatically wanted be automatically a heart into the family so yeah my channel my channel's my youtube channel's name is called familiar heart not the gillets anymore so i will be saying that in the next video i don't know when that would be it might be tomorrow it might be friday it might be the weekend i don't know yet so yeah i will give you updates of how it goes until I do get my stuff back. But yeah, I got, I'm just disappointed and angry and upset. I've got a lot of emotional going 
a lot of emotional things going on right now. But I will get better. But I'm going. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to end the video here right now. I really hope you guys like this video. If you put, if you do, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe so you automatically entered into so you automatically become a heart. And also, please hit the post notification bell button so you don't get so you get notified whenever I post another video. Bye.